Welcome, Welcome everybody back to, back to another, another great, great episode, episode of, of Careful, Careful Boys, Boys, where, where we, we are currently off the record. Wow. But today we, we have, have our special, special guest, guest, Anthony, Anthony Mee. That's good. Good job, guys. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Sound like one person. All right, here's the, here's the question of the day. What is the best and worst thing you've ever eaten? Best and like, best. At the same time? Not the same time, oh. but like, like name the I, name the best thing and then the worst. I'll tell you what the best and worst thing was what? at the same time. Why? What is it? Live octopus. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Remember when we ate that shit in <laughs> South Korean? Yep. So Cause, very delicious. Cause when it came out, I was like, oh, that's crazy, man. Fear factor. You know what I mean? Is that what he said? <laughs> I would be surprised. Like, Ajima was like, why'd you say? <laughs> and then I remember one motherfucker was trying to crawl off the table and shit, and then she just put that motherfucker back in. And then while he was alive, the Korean lady just went da -da 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 -da, like she's giving it a haircut. It was a great like yeah, it literally good, though. from the aquarium pulled it in front of like we had like a shabu shabu pot, pulls it in front of us like this and just went ta 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 yeah. just like that. Murdered it. <laughs> yep. And then I was like, yeah, I was like, oh what shit. This is different country for yeah. sure. Honestly, it's like really, really fun to experience. It's not that good, huh? No, but that's one of the best worst things I ate because yeah, I, I was so surprised. I've, I've had octopus like on sushi or whatever, but I was so surprised at like f the difference between fresh octopus and like frozen. It was, was very, it was very, good. it was so, so sweet and really soft. Good. Ooh, yeah. and then the life. <laughs> yeah, and then you know when they come out with the tentacles, right? That shit looked like maggots, bro. Like that's fucking salted maggots. And they tell you they tell you to chew the shit out of it because if you don't chew it fully and you swallow it and it's still moving. It's gonna move. Oh, yeah. It's gonna try to it's latch crazy. onto your throat. And right. I was like, ooh, that's fucking gross. Let's 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 laugh at it, guys. And then we're like eating it, and I'm like, this is like pig ear. One of my favorite things. Dude, Gelatinous you, like that yeah, Taiwanese yeah, Chinese cartilage. pig cartilage. Oh. It's crunchy. It's just moving. Don't they put like a, like a soy? Like well, this restaurant put um, sesame oil and Ooh. salt. Yeah. yeah. That's what, what you what, need, huh? What um? So like <clears throat> that because of that experience, I really appreciated it. Because you know, I think usually if you're trying something, whether or not like you feel the dish, you might not finish it. But because I saw them like pretty much butcher it right in front of me, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna finish this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I ate, so like it was cool because you get to choose the cooked version and then the raw version. Yeah. What was better? And they're both good. They're both really yeah. good. Wow. They're both yeah. really good. Oh, it blew my mind. I ate all like, of it though because I just felt I felt Native American about that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you see, yeah. Wow. In Korea. Yeah, yeah I, better, I better I better I better eat the fucking nose to yeah. tail or so whatever the fuck. Was that, was that good? <laughs> was that octopus good in in terms of? Octopi in your life, or was it good in terms of all food? It was probably the best octopi, oh. like class of octopus. Because I cool. one, I never had fresh octopus. Okay. After that, you go back to frozen, and it's just not the same. Dude, a grilled I octopus. Is fun. When I ate it, I thought to myself, I was like, I'm good on this. It's all right. But did you have it cooked too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? I, and and the live one, you know what I mean? That was like squiggling around and stuff. I was like, oh, this is a really cool experience. But I was like, I still prefer it like takoyaki or like fried. You know what I mean? Really? I think it just tastes better like that. Yeah, grilled, grilled yeah, octopus to me. I don't think in dream of the live one. Like I wouldn't crave that. But the cooked one in that hot pot thing they did, I was like, wow, so this is what fresh, like I don't have to see it being murdered in front of me and yeah. chopped up. You can skip like, that. <laughs> if it's killed that day, wow. I'm like, it's probably gonna taste pretty good. It's different. Yeah, or they could have just cut fresh. it behind you. And like, Here you go. Oh, yeah. Asian Chinese seafood <laughs> restaurants, they do that shit with the lobster. They always bring out two. Like, which one you yeah. want, man? Yeah, it's like still alive. Like, oh, oh, uh, what are, that one. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> I don't need to see the eyes, man. Fuck. He's like, all right. Staring at me. <laughs> yeah, but how did you know that that's the one you got? Because what if they came up and then they bring it back and they go, okay, bust out the frozen one? Oh, yeah. that's yeah. true. Is that model lobsters? Yeah. It's a good racket. <laughs> Yeah, I believed I it every time. Coming next week. I could have sworn I ate that motherfucker already. Yeah. <laughs> Bill? <laughs> what about you? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? Uh, okay, separate, right? Not best, worst. Well, you can, I mean, if you have. Best and worst. I have the best thing. Um, I was in, I think, Switzerland or something. And it was Christmas. 
So in, in, you know how in Europe they do those Christmas markets like big time? Yeah. They really, really separate uh, c celebrate Christmas there. And at this Christmas market, there's this one where they did like some sort of like, I don't know, United Nations night market type shit where like every single booth was a different country. And I'm like, this is fucking cool. So like, That's dope. there's a, a, like Nepalese dumplings here. Ooh. There's like whatever over here. And then there's like a, a this this cheese sandwich place where they would take a flame. And the, so the cheese is like a block, almost like a toast. And they would flame throw the fucking cheese. So the top starts melting and they get the bread and they smear oh, the cheese like whoa. this. That's not the best thing. That thing was really good too. But, <laughs> but I'm just trying to paint like how like unique the shit is. I go to, I think, I don't even know, man. I think it was fucking like Turkish or some some of those weird countries in the middle. Uh, there was a sandwich where they take, have you guys ate salbing? It's like a Chinese pastry. I think so. so similar, similar to that, where I'm like, they took this bread that was crispy and flaky. I'm like, okay, cool. That, Cause you know, like countries like Turkey, there there's like uh, Middle Eastern influence, Asian influence. Like that's how their cuisine comes together. So they take this fucking Turkish salbing, they cut it open. They put like a, a fried egg in the middle, some meat, some whatever, and then they close it, they put in the wrapper, and then you know when you eat things at a night market, it's like fresh, it's piping yeah. hot. And then I remember biting into it, and then tasting like the sausage, and then the melted yolk, and then it tasted fucking good. And I was like, what was this, sir? He told me, and I went, I, I repeated like 10 times. <laughs> so I, was, I have to remember that when I go back to America, I gotta find the fucking store that sells this. Literally like the next day, I'm like, <laughs> what the sandwich is called? Was so, it Turkish? I don't even know. It's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> one of what? A photo or write it down. I have a vlog of it, oh, so so I have good. to find it. I have to find it. But it's Turkish or any like Gurkish or Merkit, like Gurkish, one of those Merkish, countries. Kazakhstan. Right? Yeah, any of those. <laughs> any of those intersection countries. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan could be. Zildjian symbols? No. <laughs> Zildjian symbols. <laughs> <laughs> this video oh, is sponsored by. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it was good. good. Yeah. That was so that good. Cool. Yeah. And the closest yeah. thing that I tried to stuff like that is uh, Nadim would take me to Afghan restaurants. Because mm. uh, those are the few places where you taste cultures mash. Like he took me to this place, uh, an Afghan restaurant, and I tried, uh, they call it mandu too, which is like, mandu is like what? dumplings in Korean, but they also call it mandu there. And so they have dumplings, it's wrapped in a wonton form, um, but like, kind of like true to any type of like uh, melting pot country, there's some sort of like uh, cream sauce on top, Ooh. and then chili flake crunch thing, and then like a tomato sauce that goes, so I'm like, this is like fucking Middle Eastern, Italian, and Asian had a baby. It was crazy. Whoa. I like countries like that. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten? I got you get back to me. <laughs> I try not to remember. Oh, that's true. I'll tell you uh, something that was really terrible that I had. I had pho in Indiana. Oh, and it was that bad. Sounds terrible. And it was at a it Chinese was restaurant. <laughs> it was at a Chinese restaurant. Did they also have sushi awesome. too? Mm, maybe I don't know I forgot. But it's only like the Philadelphia roll with cream cheese. Yeah, in it it was weird because it looks like pho. It doesn't smell like it. The broth is brown. You try it, it tastes like water. And then, dude, I, it's so gross just like describing it. The I noodles were like kind of hard. I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I was like, dude, how bad could I it? Get, it? I have yeah. to get pho everywhere I go. If yeah. if I see it and it's successful, yeah. I have to try. It, especially other countries, not necessarily yeah. like fucking Indiana or whatever. But yeah. was it yeah. not being made by a Vietnamese person? No, it's for sure. One hundred percent. Fun Europe, Chinese. Fun Europe, Chinese. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. It's like so they fun. didn't get the With spices. The they didn't get anything right. The beef was like dry as fuck. I was like, damn, dude. I fucked up. I'm never eating like pho outside of California Did anymore. Did you have any words with the chef? No, I didn't care. There's really good pho it's outside like, I of California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there Texas. is. Nah. Yeah. No, really? It's okay. The, the beef is good. <laughs> what about Houston? But it's the... Because you know in Texas... That's the fun. No, the the fun. Texas no, it's about the same as the only one. Everything bigger and yeah. like more flavor, so it's like saltier and it's like oh, way too, too it's more rich. Board for you, yeah, it's like, oh. overdone and okay. and it's good you to some have people, a but preference to it. Though. North Carolina has some of the best five I've ever had. It's called Far Far East. 
<laughs> what? It's in, it was ra it's in Rally. How far east? Yeah. Okay. Rally, huh? Out of here. And the SGV, I want to see if we're, we're on the same page with Pho. What's your favorite Pho place in, in there? SGV? None of them, dude. I don't like any of them. That's hard. Like, he's he's like closer to Orange County. <laughs> he said Noodle World. No, dude. Garden Grove and stuff, you know? Because even your best Pho place here, there's like a bunch of them in OC that are way better. It sounds like you're a yeah. Pho like, snob. Like no, Junior. it's not even a snob. You can try it yourself and tell me. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. That's I trust 100%, you. 100%, dude. I trust you on the like because... flavor's kind of good. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Wow. It's okay. So there's none that are good, huh? Um, they're good, but they're not great, you know. Like what about not train fucking Boomba Weezy? Hell no, dude. There's what? so many. There's so Boomba many other Boomba plays. Uh, yeah. I know, but I just want to see if there's anyone that's good around here. It's there's a lot of places that are better than Yakarta. Sure. Like for example, actually randomly out here, or I guess not SGV technically, but the one Fu Fu Hua or something like that. Uh, in, in downtown area near Chinatown, that one has one of my favorite pho, uh, chicken fuzz. Oh, is that oh, the place where oh, they yeah. do the shabu pho? No, that's. A, I don't think so. That's is that the one that has a fountain inside. Yes. That place is kind of nasty. It's ghetto. Yeah, it's a dirty spot. It's a dirty <laughs> spot. It's a dirty <laughs> spot. Oh, you talking about pho seventy nine? No, pho Hua, I think. Uh, the one that all the police officers go to. Yeah. Yes. With wow. the fountain, it's really dirty, and you look, you think you're like this. You like their food, dude? Just the fuck, <laughs> yeah. Get the chicken okay. pho there. Yeah, next time. Just the fuck. Get oh, the chicken pho there. That fuck like yeah. when you open, it's the weird jacuzzi looking Yeah, it's a jacuzzi looking fountain. Yeah. yeah. With the fucking extension cords yeah. hanging way too close yes. to the water. Yes. What the heck? So, but I the chicken pho good. there is bomb. Yeah? Yeah. Right. yeah. I'll check it out. If you like good chicken pho, I'll give you a whole, I have a whole list of like I'm good pho list. places. Okay, when I think of like best and worst things, I, it's hard for me to think of like dishes for some reason. Maybe I'm just like thinking mm -hmm. about like singular things that I'm like, this is the best of this thing that I've experienced. Um, one of the first things that comes to mind is when I was in Barcelona, you know like Iberico ham, like jamon, uh, the fucking prosciutto ham type yeah. stuff? He's dry aged, cured, like fucking legs Rest hanging nice. for like 10 years type oh. shit. Wow. So I would never be able to years. get the expensive wow. ones, yeah. right? But in Barcelona, I was there um, and I was there with one of my buddies. He was there for a tech convention, like CNET or something like that at the time. And uh, their rich buddies and his partners and stuff like that would go to the spot. And it's like literally it sells like those whole fucking dry legs. You can even ship them back. Home, they they sell wow, the a whole leg. Oh, I sent one back too. Yeah, where? And, and then they have almost like a cigar room, almost like a nice like winery or a cigar room. There's like a back room. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is like closed and fucking has insulation in a certain way or lighting, whatever the fuck. And that's like the really old stuff, right? Yeah. And again, I would never be privy to this if I wasn't with other fucking rich people. And we go there, and the, the guys there are just like slicing off samples. Because if you slice off a sample and you try it, that's how people will know they're willing to spend like 3,500 bucks for a fucking leg or something. Uh, yeah, because yeah. some of them is like sashimi. Yeah. yeah. It just yeah. melts in your fucking mouth. It's, it's how long does life. it last? Well, the thing is, you don't eat like meat at a, like It's so salty because it's cured, so you don't eat a lot at a time. You save well, how it. How long does slice. the leg last? Well, the thing is, they're curing it for years or some shit. So, yeah. so, it's like it's like wine. It's like a whiskey. Yeah. It's a, wow. When you open it, obviously, you know what I mean. So I think properly stored, maybe, it, yeah. it just lasts. Huh? Yeah. Did they have peppercorn salami? That's my favorite. I have no idea. <laughs> it's like the most basic one. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I will say, when I got to try the slice of Iberico jamon, is that a prosciutto? Yeah. I was like, dude, I, I don't know if I'll ever, one. yeah, I don't know if I'll ever experience it better than this mm, moment. Wow. Mouth, like the butteriness oh. was like, I bought a fucking little leg of it, but then I forgot what I did with it. <laughs> God Chase. damn, dude. Chase, How much in your vlog. Yeah, yeah, Chase. Huh? How much did that cost? I forgot. Over there, it's not that expensive oh, because, like uh, case or something. Because yeah. it's like, it's, uh, Dry it's kind of like sushi in Japan. It's every day for them. Over here, it's, be, it's like marketed, it's became a thing. We're like over in Japan. Yeah, yeah. In Japan, you can, like 20 bucks will give you some of the best sushi you've ever ate in your whole life, right? Over here, you have to spend at least 100 bucks That's if you want true. something that that level. Like, yeah, you gotta go to oh. Sansai Grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that. Dude, they had Toro for like four bucks in Japan. Yeah. Damn. And then when I think of the worst thing, I, I think of an experience. I won't say mm. this is like the worst thing. Not, I still like this on a regular occasion. But back in the day when we were fucking at the, you remember when like the, the YouTube uh, space or whatever was like new? Playa Vista? Yeah, and they were bringing people out to like do content and stuff like that. 
And I remember uh, uh, ISA TV uh, yeah, yeah, was yeah. doing like some sort of game shows. Yeah, stuff. I heard of them. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Wong Fu was doing this thing, and Phil hit us up. Me and Mike. I heard, I heard of Wong Fu. And we went out there. They wanted us to play like different games and stuff, like different challenges. One of the, we totally won the game because uh, we're wow. awesome. But uh, we were doing challenges like giant chopsticks, trying to pick up stuff, or like post its all over us and rolling around and like trying to get as many off, right? And the final game, even though we won, this was a punishment. But even though we won in actual scores, they just lied in it because they wanted us to. They wanted to see us get punished. Yeah. Uh, and they rolled out this cart, and in one of them was like I don't remember if it was like guac or green tea ice cream or something. The other one was wasabi. Oh. And we didn't know which one was supposed to be which, right? But obviously, I think they probably just put wasabi All in both. All of it was wasabi. And so we we had to take a spoonful. Ooh. And like, not only was I like, and this is the end of the show, so like, not only am I like holding it in, you know what I mean, kind of like crying and like not feeling very comfortable, but later on that day, I had such a stomach, I threw up late, like later, cause oh, I was just no. like sitting Damn, with a stomach dude. ache. You know, Holy cause it was shit. just so gross to like yeah. have to ingest like a strong <laughs> too. Yeah. You know, so it's just yeah, discomfort. Just a bowl of wasabi. Exactly. Huh? So, Ugh, fuckers. Not fucked up. But that is pretty gross. Uh, yeah, who would I, do that? Wong Fu. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it was still it was it was a memorable experience, I'll say that. I think so one of the worst things I ate is either the circus circus buffet. <laughs> really? Was it that bad? <laughs> or not that bad. Or, or something my mom made. I'm going back Where? again. Something my mom made. What would she cook? That was so bad. My mom sucked at cooking. Oh dude. shit. We should have a, oh, a so Bart's mom like mukbang. <laughs> so she makes food and then we all eat it for That's lunch. Fucked oh, up. She brings a time traveler friend. Yeah. Hey, my mom, number one, she's vegetarian, right? So she's already has limited yeah, ingredients. Right. Number two, she's trying to be on this nutritional tip. Like she was fucking like a white hipster before white hipsters are even a thing. Uh, so uh, my mom used to bake her own bread. Wow. Like she doesn't even buy bread, she bakes her own bread. So we used to have a bread maker when I was like fucking eight, and then she wants it to be packed with nutrients, so she'll cut up fucking like yams and dates and shit. She's not even bread anymore. No, and then you put the, and you, cause she's like, she gets the idea from like raisin bread, you know? Like, oh, yeah. I'll put other shit in it. She can't put you yams cut, in You cut it. the bread down, <laughs> And you hold the bread up, literally looks like a stained glass window. <laughs> like orange and red, and whatever. So she has that. She just had no touch. That's it. Yeah. Then she goes, okay, I guess avocados are healthy. So she would chop up uh, avocado and put it in there. And she would just make me these stained glass uh, window avocado sandwiches with no seasoning though. Not even wow. salt on the oh, avocado. Man. It's just like mush. Oof. But it was it healthy? I don't Probably know. Dude, not. I don't know, but it was like that's like one of the nasty. Probably not <laughs> mentally healthy. Actually, yeah. you know what that also makes you think of in terms of a different concept of best. One time, uh, the, uh, the the some of the leaders of the Kinjas, we did a retreat, and uh, for this retreat, just to kind of like you know get in tune and stuff, we wanted to do a raw diet, right? So we didn't eat uh, like processed foods or cooked foods, Ooh. it was all raw. Oh, so we're just munching, and you know what's weird? When you like jump into a raw diet, even for just like a three day experience, Damn, you, yeah. you actually get like really tired and stuff like that because you don't have like the same type of energy and whatnot. You're not consuming certain types of foods. We're just eating nuts and all this random Because you can't eat cheese, right? Can't eat none of that. Can't yeah. eat ham either. But what we were allowed to eat was an avocado, and by the time like uh, on like the last day, yeah. The avocado was like eating a fucking steak. Like just getting oh. an avocado and being able to put fucking salt and pepper and like lemon and kind of savory. Oh. Just, it was like so delicious because like we hadn't fucking been able to consume anything else. I was like, oh my god, amazing. <laughs> Look, can, is there an extra avocado anywhere? Can, you know what I mean? How long, how long did you guys do it for? Only for three days. Three days? Yeah. It's like the ribeye of fruits, I think. Yeah, no, but you're just fruit eating fruit like fruit. seeds it's and so nuts savory. and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. God's crazy. Like these other fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we were eating fruits and vegetables, but, but, but it all had to be raw. Yeah, all raw. But the avocado was like a fucking you, dank steak. Did you feel good after though? After you did all those three days? It, we felt like light, but it, it's it's Not weird right. because when you don't eat like the normal foods you do, like and you're just on raw stuff, like you actually like it takes. Um, you just eating. feel like down on, on energy. You, yeah, you're probably just not it's eating. So low enough. calorie, dude. Yeah. All the all the raw like fruits and vegetables. So I remember just like all of us, we thought we had this schedule and we we're like, yo, we're gonna get to this fucking thing. And then by the time it's like 10 p.m. Everybody's like kind of falling asleep in the middle of like meetings and stuff. Because oh, you can't even have coffee either. Then. No. Holy all raw. Yeah. Damn. So what did people do back in the day? 
before bread. Well, I don't think they had like alarm clocks or like duties all the time. I think they, they probably could no just energy. sleep. They also didn't have to do dance shows and stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for them. You, they, <laughs> they were dancing every night by the fire. They dancing more than they're doing other stuff like yeah. lifting weights, bro. <laughs> yeah, every jungle people was dancing when they caught like a fucking gazelle or something. Yeah, but that ain't, don't count. That's inconsequential. They could suck. It doesn't matter. Mm. That's yes, true. The best. Yeah. It's a lot of great. Second best. Am I right? It's stupid. Stop doing that. My uh, my favorite thing or my best thing is kind of similar to where um, it was when I was traveling for like shows with uh, Six Steps. This is like 2005, and I was so freaking broke. That you know when I don't know if any of you have had this situation where you like don't even have money to eat with everybody, so you're yeah. just like, nah, I'm good, oh, man, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so I just sure. kept saying that, yeah, and true. then we were like on our way to uh, San Francisco, and then um, finally, like some one of my friends was like, hey, well, I could just spot you if you want. And I was like, oh, dude, you would do that? Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't really know them to that level yet. Can you spot me at the grocery store? <laughs> 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 and then we went to uh, Popeyes. And I I hadn't had Popeyes yet until oh, that yeah. point. What? Those are first time I ever had my family Popeyes. First time having Popeyes. Oh, and he dude. and then he goes, I'll just get you like a two piece or something. I was like, all right, cool. Oh, and I hadn't eaten dude. in like a day and a half. And and that Popeyes was like the best thing I'd ever eaten. Did you fucking jizz? Yeah, I did. Did you jizz? Yeah. Special. Popeyes is already jizz worthy. And yeah. then if you have never ate it and you haven't eaten a and day, I was starving oh, and I didn't have any yeah. money and I was yeah. like, from that day it you like triggers it like triggers a mental thing. Even now, like if I have Popeyes, I'm like, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Popeyes, dude. Popeyes next time. The, the worst thing I had was when I tried to eat at Fry's. <laughs> Electronics? Yeah, the Burbank one had a cafe. Oh. And, it, and they designed it to look like a drive-in. So they had like these 57 Chevys that were cut and oh. they put seats in them and it looks really cool. But I thought it was like, a, I was like, hey, this would be kind of funny if like, uh, we try to eat there because it you could see that there was like a menu and like tables so I assumed you could get food and then so me and smack went and we were like yo like uh, can we can we order something and it was just like this random kid he was like the only one working and he was like I think so and we were like what's uh, available and we like we're looking on the menu at all these different things and he's like I don't know how to make most of this stuff whoa I was what like what can you make and he was like I don't know we're like, what about that? It was like a grilled cheese sandwich. And he's oh, like, no. let me ask. And then he goes to the back and then brings out some other lady. And she's like, yeah, you just take the bread and put it. She's like telling him out loud. What's How that to make fuck? a grilled cheese? Yeah. No one makes anything there. I think this was the tail end of fries where they started getting rid of everyone. So no one was left that knew how to do anything. Oh, oh shit. They ultimately went bankrupt because of it, like uh, incompetent staffing. Mm. Yeah, so. Uh, incompetent staffing is the reason why they went bankrupt? It's, it's one of the reasons why people stopped spending money there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. They suck. Well, because they, they overhired for pe and they didn't train anyone. So no one knew how to answer your question. So people just distrusted fries. Wow. So then ultimately they, you know, they, they went down for a lot of other reasons, but that's the consumer. I used to love fries. Yeah. So he made me this Great shitty prices. ass, he took the two bread and he just put like a slice of Kraft singles in it. Oh. And, and like, it was like sort of warm. Oh, and then we How got it. We were like, grilled cheese. We were like, what the fuck is this? And it was we, a grilled top. We tried to eat it. And it was like so old. Like the bread was like super oh, old because like nobody had gone there in ages probably because it, it wasn't a thing anymore. Oh. So they should have just told us, oh, we're not doing this yeah. anymore. But because this kid wasn't even trained to tell me no, he didn't know what to say and just gave it to me anyway. And it was the weirdest experience. Yeah. Damn, that's Very bad. gross.